Okay, so let's see what sign this is about to be for for this full moon and Virgo. Ooh, reading. So somebody's going to be running away and ghosting the situation because there's going to be some type of knowledge that somebody was faking some type of abuse or lying about some type of abuse, whether they did it or did not do it. Leo. Okay. We got fraud and we got abuse. Ooh. It was only for the SEX. Ooh. All right. Your ancestors said somebody was breadcrumbing. The streets know there's no communication for a reason. Could be dealing with an Aquarius. Ooh, then my nose just started itching. So somebody's going to be ghosting this, running up, trying to figure out how to escape a situation. Open your eyes. Let's see. I need you. Just came up. Okay, let's see what's going on. Honor uncle thieving and stealing. Manipulation. Side piece. Whatever that means. So let's see what's going on with you guys. With this full moon in Virgo has came to light. What's been hitting. What you need to wrap up in order to go on to this new cycle. Leos. Leos. Full moon in Virgo. What is going on? Oh, hold on. Let me shuffle these cards. Leos, as I hop into this reading, please keep in mind that this is not a personal reading. So do not take this fucking reading personal, okay? Take what fits, leave the rest. If a part of this reading does not resonate to your liking, leave it for whoever it does resonate with. Because it is a general reading. Once again, it is not a personal reading. So don't take it personal. You be your own leader of discernment when it comes to this reading. Take what fits, leave the rest. Part of reading does not resonate to your liking. Again, leave it for whoever it does resonate with. Just because it does not resonate with you does not mean it's going to resonate with the next Leo. You are not the only Leo out here in these streets, okay? <laughs> Try any other reading that I post in your sun, moon, rising, or Venus sign, or any other reading I post that has a title that resonates or sticks out to you. It's possibly a message in that reading for you, Leo. Jeez, Louise. Again, flip flop the roles of this energy of the energy in this readings. I could be saying you, it could be them, I could be saying he, it could be a she. I could be saying it's your mama, it could be your daddy, it could be your auntie, it could be your uncle, it could be whoever. Alright. Hmm. Leo. So there is going to be an ending or a transformation. Alright. And because of that, you might need to go out and spend some time in nature. Or because of this ending or this transformation, you will be able to go out and spend some time out in nature. For some of you guys, you haven't been able to be out in nature and spend some time because you haven't been feeling yourself. But it's saying go outside and enjoy a walk or a hike with your pet. Meditate beneath the tree, garden, sit up under the stars, or do some other activity to connect with the limit vastness. Spending time in nature helps you to shift Helps shift you to a, a higher vibration and reminds you of God's infinite abundance. So there is some type of ending or transformation that is going to occur that you're going through. Mm. But it's going to help you to get back in touch with yourself. Get back in touch with nature. Someone could have been feeling off balance, unstable, not in touch, in tune like they usually were. It could be some type of legalities going on. Ooh, poverty, bad health, deep expectation. Get child, somebody just thought that they was gonna be with you. To, okay, are you thought you was gonna be with somebody to take them for all that they have? Okay, I right, did all of those. Let's see what's really going on, Leos. What's going on, my Leos? What's hidden? What's coming to light? The chariot in reverse. All right. Somebody feel a, they feel a little lost. They feel a little scattered. Somebody may be feeling like they're losing direction. Someone could even have um, some that delays to travel plans. Oh my goodness! All right. This could even be some issues with a car. All right. Somebody feels like they won't have any victory or any success. Someone will not have any victory or success with whatever this is that they're doing, and it's best that they end it. Mm. Some of you guys could be dealing with a cancer. Some of you guys may be on a Leo cancer cusp. But somebody's having a hard time. Ooh, five of swords. Trying to win at all costs. Child. Doing anything and everything to stay above. To stay ahead. 
somebody's ending up in a mental entrapment with themselves and a mental battle. Like whatever battle somebody is in, they are ultimately in it with themselves. Leo's. Someone will not have a victory or success with this, whether it is you or them. Oh yeah, because there's some secrets. Could be dealing with a Pisces. Could be a Pisces that's secret. Someone's in secret competition with somebody. And it could be a Pisces. It don't have to be. But there is some secrets surrounding some type of competitive energy. So yeah, somebody being very manipulative. And somebody's hiding some things. Someone could even be depressed. Somebody hiding some shit. And it's going to leave somebody devastated. And in this mental entrapment. Whoever this Queen of Pentacles is can prepare. Oh, you got this person coming to you. They coming. They coming to you with some type of information to help balance you out. But see, it's somebody else in this background that don't want somebody to know what the hell is going on. They trying to keep up a mental battle or a conflict. Mm, when it comes to this new beginning, this new love. Because I was your counterpart. The King of Pentacles, Queen of Pentacles, that's a match made in heaven. Keep on working. Keep on doing what you're doing. You may meet this person at work. See, but it's a fight. This person has a lot of options. This could even be this person's uh, uh, another uh, another suitor of this person. You may find out that this person, th this somebody could be pregnant, saying they're pregnant. Or you may be finding out that this person has been doing a lot of things behind closed doors to keep you stuck. Not having some type of victory possibly with this person. Well, I skipped too far. I'm supposed to get one of these. Okay. We're about to go. <clears throat> Chemistry. There's a strong magnetic attraction here. There's a strong magnetic attraction here. So somebody already knows that there is some type of chemistry and strong bond between you and this person. It's worth waiting for. And you supposed to, somebody was supposed to marry this person. In the very beginning, y'all seen that engagement in that card I put together? You were supposed to marry this person. It might have got slowed down because of some X factors. All right, somebody not wanting to see y'all come together. They're jealous of y'all connection and y'all bond. But it's going to be an ending with all that. That's that death card. It's about to be a major transformation and ending. So it seems like somebody could even been doing spell work on somebody. That, yeah, so they won't use their intuition with Page of Cups. Somebody's fighting over a child or fighting over um, somebody's like spiritual gifts, intuition. How does that work? We got the high priestess in reverse and Page of Cups in reverse. If somebody don't have your spiritual gifts like you, you are the uh, whoever this is that's doing this. If somebody not have not been using their intuition when it comes to this person that's being very childish. Somebody may even be realizing somebody's not pregnant like they say they are. Somebody could have been lying and saying that they're pregnant, or that somebody's chat child, or somebody's been lying and saying that they are spiritual and they have spiritual gifts, but they do not. Somebody's been very, very childish, and because of that, they haven't been using their intuition with what it is that they've been doing. But so something's going to get exposed. Judgment, the higher friend in reverse. Somebody's non-committal. They've been abusing their power and their authority. They ain't been listening to the signs and synchronicities around them. All right? Leo, you could be going through some type of spiritual revival against some things or somebody that was doing some things that was unconventional. It's some shit going on. We got Queen of Cups in reverse, Queen of Swords in reverse, and the Devil. So there was some very negative toxic energy either surrounding you or a situation or a relationship. Or this was a very toxic situation. Somebody could have been being very toxic. This could be a woman. It could have even been two different women in here. The emperor in reverse. Somebody could have been abusing their power and their authority. Could have had two women. And one of these women. You had to, you had to go. Somebody wanted two women. That's clearly what it is. Somebody wanted two women. And you was like, I'm not going for it. Or you're about to put your... I'm not going for it. I ain't going for it. Hey, the pinnacles in reverse. Yeah, it's just not working now. I see potential elsewhere. I'm taking this pinnacle and my ins my inspiration and what I got elsewhere. Queen of Cups. I'm using my intuition. Judgment. Somebody could have even said that you was that Queen of Wands in reverse. Queen of Swords in reverse. Someone could have made some lies or told some lies about what it is that 
how you are and how you work out or how you do things tempers in reverse could be a Sagittarius they could even say you don't have any patience you scam, you scheme. Somebody made a bad investment. Could be a Sagittarius. It could be you. Or they could say you made a bad investment. You're a scammer. You're a schemer. Somebody could be a scammer or a schemer. Somebody has no ba balance, no p patience. Something's not working out. And someone knows it. It's time to cut it out. It's time for some type of quick action. All right? No. No, you already have some. No. Mm-mm. What's going on? Are they best in movies? No. I'm Ooh, I'm about to say it's all BS. Somebody's realizing something was straight BS. Yeah, somebody's non-committal, and they wanted their cake and they wanted to try to eat it too. That's really what was going on. Somebody's realizing that. What's going on? Or somebody could be, I'm going to be honest with y'all. Somebody could be realizing that somebody was was playing them. They really not so loving and so caring like they put, they make it themselves out to be. Mm. Okay, I'm going to just. We got other options, childhood memories, nasty. Gifts and evidence. Like somebody got spiritual gifts, but somebody else said that somebody was nasty so, so with this page of cups in reverse, somebody could go keep could be going down memory lane about how you was raised, how they seen you as a child, using your your childhood against you. When you was a child, you weren't responsible of taking care of yourself. It was your parents. So the fact that somebody could be using your childhood and how you was when you was out of letters again, that don't that, that stop it. Stop it. Now, I could see if you was uh, doing some inappropriate and crazy things at that time. But I don't think so at this. At this I, don't, I don't think that's what this is. I, I, I'm getting another nasty vibe. Now, for some of you guys, you have some childhood memories that are nasty of somebody. You know some things about somebody. Okay. Somebody ignored that. They didn't really pay attention to that. You may have known somebody for a while since you was a child. And you realized uh, they been a certain way. I don't know. It's some evidence on something now. Let's just keep. Mm. We got someone loves you. Celebration. Because you're supposed to be being married. Somebody wants to marry somebody. If somebody needs to let go of some type of memories or some type of somebody that's holding them back. They got to put their foot here because somebody's in it for themselves. I, it's something for somebody that's nasty. Mm. You know, I got an ice block where my heart used to be. Look, something with a car, get your car checked. But brighter days are ahead. Police activity, they're hiding their true feelings. Hard times. So somebody's trying to push you through hard times. Someone could even be trying to put some type of investigation or cause some type of issue surrounding the police with you. But they won't have victory and success over this. Whatever it is that they're doing, it's like it's going to backfire on them. Yeah, because you got low self-esteem so they feel like they can run over you. Yeah, don't worry about nothing though. Your ancestors is on it. Mm, so y'all got somebody cuckoo that's about to try to stir up some drama. That's what this sounds like. But they won't have a victory and success over this. Be mindful of how you communicate and how you talk and how you speak as well too. Because you may have to... You might be left defending yourself against a cuckoo. Somebody that's very good at manipulating the situation. But it's showing that they in it for themselves. But somebody's going to be running away and ghosting too. Cause they somebody a pedo. We ain't gonna act like this card. We just said somebody is a pedo, and they could have been trying to manipulate it, act like it was you, but it's, it's or however it go. All right, I love you guys so much. Take care.